Hi students, I'd like you to meet Clarence Zeeches. He just gave us a very interesting talk at our conference here on pianos. He's from the Piano Tutors Guild and he is going to show you some of the parts on a piano and how it works. So you can say hello to my students, sir. Hello. Hi. I'm glad to be able to share with you uh, what's inside of a piano. Good. This is, uh, we've got right here, first of all, we've got what would be a typical upright piano. And this model here, you can see the keys. They have a pivot point where they are pivoting. Uh, when you push down the front, of course, the back is coming up. And so what's happening here, as this comes up, it is lifting this part that is called a whippin. It is lifting it up and pushing the hammer towards the string. Now we've got a little part here called a jack. And that jack right there, when it comes up and hits this button, it's going to trip out so that the hammer does not block against the string, but it releases so that the string can vibrate like it is supposed to. Now, when it bounces back, it's coming back against what we call a back check here. And it, it, uh, that back check, part of the purpose of that is to keep the hammer closer to the strings so that when you are doing a fast repetition, it will give the repetition. The hammer does not have to return all the way to its rest position before it can be played again so you can get your fast repetitions out. And this thing is very similar to the grand piano. Uh, of course here the hammer is coming up under the strings instead of approaching uh, from the top to hit the strings but when you press the key down then you see this this weapon here is coming up and again we have the jack and that jack is going to trip out and let that hammer go on up and uh, keep it from blocking against the string. Here it's a lot easier to see the damper that raises as the key is pushing up on this little lever right here. That damper is raising and comes off the string so that the string can continue to vibrate. And as soon as you let the key up, that damper comes back down onto the string and it stops the sound. Now in this you've got several pivot points where this is rocking here. I mean that it is pivoting. You've got a cloth bushing and you've got a pin that goes through that and it is rotating out. And you can see several other places here where we have those pivot points as well. And so all of those are part of the functioning of the piano. Okay, well, I thank you very much for your very interesting discussion before and for explaining this to my students. Very glad to, anytime. And don't hesitate to go to our home website, www.ptg.org, and you can find a lot of information there. Children can go on, there's games there that children can play and everything. So just encourage them to go on to our website and have some fun. Thank you very much. Bye glad now. To.